is me Hesha and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to deal with negativity or negative people. And mainly, I'm going to share some tips on how I deal with negative people or negativity around me. Now, to be very honest, I have kind of not been lucky uh, when it comes to having positive friends or positive relationships all throughout my teenage years. It's only been until recently that I have found the right set of people I want to hang out with, people who are positive, people who genuinely care about me, value relationships are somebody, these are the people who know and understand the meaning of true friendship. And over and above everything else, these people are positive, healthy people who I want to surround, who I want to be surrounded with, who I want to hang out with on day-to-day -day basis, who I want to be friends with. Because it is these positive people who eventually are helping me become a better person and omit all the negativity around me. Now, honestly speaking, when I started this YouTube channel, out of so many people I know, out of so many bloggers and YouTubers I personally know, the only thing when I ever conversed with them and I asked that, you know, what is something that they are a little bit reluctant or hesitant about when it comes to being a YouTuber or when it comes to being a blogger. And one thing that I found common amongst all the people who I interacted with was the kind of negative feedback, the negative comments that lot, lots, lots of people leave, you know, or left on their videos. And that sort of hampered them and upset them so much that they came to a point that they did not want to continue doing what they were doing. Now, when I heard of this for the first time, idly I should have been afraid because just like anybody out there, even I can get negative comments. And to be very frank and honest, I have somewhere been lucky and blessed that I have got more feedback and more love from all you people and there are just very selected people who left those negative, humiliating, ugly comments. And when the first time I read those comments on my videos, um, comments like, I think you're too fake, I think you're too loud, you're getting paid to do this, you know, your reviews, you know, you just want to show off how much money you have. And topping it all, everybody spoke about my accent and where I got my accent from. Well, when I read all those kind of comments, I just laughed. Because to be very frank and to be very honest, I don't care. It does not matter to me because somebody sitting out there is definitely really coward to not be on this side and do what I am doing. Instead, somebody out there is so shallow that without knowing who I am is saying such nasty things about me. Likewise, there might be so many people in your life who you must have come across who are constantly pulling you down, bringing you down, talking bad about you, you know, giving you names and, you know, absolutely not justified in doing what they're doing. But at some given point of time, when you really sit down and think about it, it is not you who should feel bad about what is happening and what they're saying about you. It is them. Those are the negative people. These are negative influencers in your life who absolutely have no job but to just pull you down. And my friend, that's not what matters. There are going to be times, you know, when you will have to take a difficult decision in your life and do something that you're probably not sure of. But just because you feel that somebody out there is going to judge you or somebody out there is going to point out at your flaw, you know, that fear of failing in what you really, really want to do shouldn't stop you at all. Because that is welcoming negativity. If you are positive about doing something, just the way I am, I am extremely, extremely positive about making videos. I'm very positive about doing what I do, which is right on my blog. And I really don't 
give a damn about what anybody out there or probably even people in my friend circle think about my job. This is my job and this is what I like to do and this is what I will be doing for the rest of my life very very proudly and you out there should have this kind of confidence self power and esteem that whatever you want to pursue no matter how many people give or leave negative comments or talk bad about you or say something that's unhealthy or negative it should not stop you from achieving your goal which is something that you've been dreaming of all throughout well to be very honest it's really difficult to at first eliminate negative people or negativity it is something that comes to each one of us through age and through time and there have been ample amount of times where i have been fooled by my friends like friends who were very dear to me friends who i know for almost 11 years but it was only now that i realized that those are the kind of people that i don't need in my life because they are negative people when i wanted to start a blog i was mocked because i wanted to start a blog when i thought that i'm going to be filming videos and making youtube videos people thought my friends thought that it was really funny they did not enjoy it they put me down when i did my image consultancy and when i was helping people out they thought it was a bad funny idea they all named me an agony aunt but who cares it did not matter to me i still went ahead and pursued each and everything that i wanted to do and that's the reason why i'm still doing what i wanted to do so much so i was also criticized for marrying at an early age but how does it matter if i am happy in my life if i am confident about what i am doing if i am positive about what i want to achieve nothing or nothing around me no negative vibration can stop me from doing that coming to the second part of how you can deal with negative people around you it's really really simple either you choose to be this honest and upfront person who can go just the way i did and tell a person that i don't want to be friends with you because you are a negative person you are somebody who's pulling me down you are somebody who's not encouraging me or motivating me to reach or achieve or attain my goals and you are somebody who's so negative that i don't want to be friends with either you change who you are and look at the brighter side of life or you can continue to remain the person who you are but i will not hang out with you anymore it's okay if you are a pessimist and you know that's your ideology and that's your thinking that's your way of living but that's definitely not my way of living I want to be a positive person and be happy and I want to live my life to the fullest and people like these who are so negative I don't want to hang out with them so either you go out there and say it to them out loud or you can eventually slowly analyze the situation and start taking a step back and I'm so sure that over a period of time the other person is going to realize and if they really value your friendship if they really value your ethics and they really love you for who you are they will understand because no matter what nobody has the right to be so much of a negative influence in your life that it sucks out the happiness inside you and turns you into a depressed human being that's not what is called for life's really short and life's really beautiful and you have this one life that i feel that each one of us should unite and live beautifully you know i would like to share an instance um about a year and a half ago when i started blogging and when i would go for these events i would keep calling people and keep saying that you know there are certain bloggers and certain people around me who don't give out those positive vibes they were very unhappy to see me around you know they sent out those vibrations that who is this newbie out here and they never wanted me to grow they gossiped about me they spoke behind my back in fact they still do but it is a year and a half and i'm still doing what i want to do 
I still am attending all those events that probably the same people are. And each time I am at those events, I smile. I don't have a problem if you think or if you have a problem with me or the kind of work that I'm doing. That does not become my problem. That just reflects upon how negative a person you are. And that's something if, if it would have affected me in my initial stages, I probably wouldn't have been able to work harder and pursue my dream and my goals. So, if somebody out there is pulling you down, if there's someone out there who does not appreciate what you're doing, if there's somebody out there who thinks that you're not worthy of this life, then my friend, you should stop and cut off from that individual. You can choose your way. You can look at the brighter and positive side. You can hang out with more positive people, more like-minded people. You can read stuff that is so positive. You can look at the brighter side of life. You should meditate and then deep within come out with a solution and figure out how you're going to eliminate these negative people and become a positive person.